Apollo Hospitals uh, launched uh, a new uh, business uh, model, uh, Evolve, that will cater to the commercial vehicle market. My colleague Danish Anand spoke with, spoke with Neeraj Kumar, uh, Kanwar, a vice chairman and managing director of the company, began by asking him about the new business uh, model. Uh, listen in to uh, Mr. Kanwar and uh, comments uh, about outlook going forward. Listen in. Well, I think it's a very new uh, digital path that we are taking. As you know, mobility is changing. Uh, this is really for the CV customer for the in India, uh, trying to see how we can be much closer to the customer, also to the fleet people, how we can service them much better, try and get them data so that their, their cost of running the vehicle becomes better. Uh, that will attract more customers to our fleet counters and it will generate more revenues for the company and get more customer loyalty uh, as far as Apollo is concerned. Right. So you had good Q4 results. We saw that profit after tax has soared and overall the company grew by over 17%. So are you confident of this growth in the new financial year as well? Well, as you know, I'm a very optimistic guy. Uh, as far as India is concerned, yes, I believe we will have a double digit growth. Um, Europe is going through uh, a recessionary phase. I think that will finish sometime in H1, H2 will look much better. Uh, again, in Europe, we are a very niche player. I believe we will have a double-digit growth in Europe also. Great. So talking about the CAPEX now, where are you currently at as far as your CAPEX is concerned? And uh, what, are you, what is your outlook? Uh, will you be increasing your CAPEX? And <clears throat> uh, what about your manufacturing capability? Can we expect uh, your capacities to go up? No, so we don't have any plans for the next two to three years uh, in terms of expansions. Uh, we are looking at a very capex light model. Um, want to invest current in the in the past fiscal year, we've invested close to our capex was 800 crores, and in the new financial, we're looking at 1100 crores. So very capex light. Uh, production increases are going to come through digitalization, so through AI machine learning, uh, collecting data already in Hungary as we are speaking. Uh, in Hungary, our Budapest plant has increased production nearly 30 percent through AI and machine learning. Right. Okay, so there's a lot of investment going in digitalization, mm -hmm. understanding the new ways of uh, producing tires, and that's the manufacturing capability. So. Uh, CapEx light, uh, improving our balance sheet ratios is very, very important. So we have taken a target of ROSI going uh, from under 10 to between 12 and 15. Already, if I annualize Q4, mm -hmm. our ROSI is at 13.4, 13.5. So we are already uh, in the high end of 15, which was our target. Our net debt is uh, at around 1.4 mm -hmm. uh, X. Uh, our target was to be below 2 X. Mm -hmm. So, you know, given all of this, our emphasis is really looking at free cash flows, looking at balance sheet ratios, increasing those uh, uh, ratios to becoming leaders in those ratios. That's what we are looking at. Right. So, how is the demand from different segments within the auto industry looking like right now? And uh, what about the replacement cycle? Uh, uh, demand has started. Uh, the CV cycle is uh, on, on the positive side. Uh, even passenger cars have uh, now come back. Uh, so I'm pretty bullish, optimistic about India. A replacement is now coming back. Car, it was low in Q4. Uh, was at, I think, a negative four, negative five. But I'm seeing now that thing coming in as we're getting into the summer season. Right. So what is the outlook on margins? And uh, are there any price hikes that you're factoring in uh, right now with the new financial year? No, there are no price hikes. Uh, I would not like to comment on margins. Uh, but yes, uh, margins will remain healthy, as I've told you. Uh, very uh, clear focus for us on looking at healthy beta margins. Um, and there won't be any more price hikes, as now raw materials have eased out, so there are no need for any price corrections. Right. So uh, are you facing any new challenges uh, in the business? Uh, like we are seeing that there are recessionary fears across different parts of the world. So what do you feel about all of this? Are there any other uh, you know, challenges that you are getting ready uh, to battle on? Well, I think the biggest challenge for us is going to be the change in mobility um, and how the mobility scenario is changing worldwide. Um, and this is how Apollo is gearing up, is we've launched uh, two EV tires. Uh, the other challenge is going to be sustainability. Uh, as you know, we have taken a carbon neutral uh, vision of becoming carbon neutral by 2050. Uh, so we are working towards that. Only today we launched our solar farm in uh, Hungary plant, where 9.2 megawatts is going to come through clean energy. 
uh, that is around 14% of what is required in our plant. So slowly, slowly, gradually, Apollo is investing in sustainability, uh, seeing how mobility is changing in the world, uh, putting more money towards new generation products. Okay, well, that's Apollo Tires uh, Management speaking with my colleague. Uh, the